This prisoner is at the center of a manhunt in Jessup and the surrounding areas. He was wearing all white clothing uh, and we did find a couple of articles of clothing in the woods. So we can't confirm for sure what he may be wearing at this time. David Watson can't remove these. Howard County Police releasing new photos of his tattoos, including evil written on the back of his neck, along with 187 and Watson on his arms. A day long search turning up few clues. It started just after 930 this morning when Wacomico County Detention Center officers brought Watson to the Clifton T. Perkins Hospital Center. A guard opened the door uh, after the van stopped in the parking lot and Watson, who was the only occupant, pushed the guard to the ground and ran into the woods. Watson was picked up from a Delaware prison Thursday, where he's serving a sentence of more than 100 years for attempted murder. Here in Maryland, Watson is also charged with attempted murder, accused of firing shots at the homes of three county police officers. According to online court records, a Maryland judge deemed Watson incompetent to stand trial. He was in Jessup for a court-ordered psychiatric evaluation. <laughs> Police using helicopters and dogs to search for Watson for much of the day. They did find handcuffs and a waist chain in the parking lot near the prisoner transport van. The guards from the detention center do carry weapons. However, they had secured those weapons in lock boxes inside the van before they opened the door. So we don't believe that he had access to a weapon. Right now, officials say there's no indication whether uh, Watson planned this escape or if this was an impulsive act. They also say that there's no indication that he has any contacts in this area. Howard County Police say this search will continue through the night, and if you see Watson, you should call 911. We're live tonight in Jessup. Vanessa Herring, WBAL-TV 11 News.